Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and this is your astrological update for the week starting the 6th of August. <laughs> My goodness, there's a lot going on. Venus is shifting signs, Venus is trying Mars, but the most important thing is another eclipse. Well, you know, a partial solar eclipse and a new moon, but it's a biggie. Here's your weekly astrology. Virgo, this week is all about secrets, so you have to be very cautious. Be careful who you tell your business to this week, and it may be that somebody's accidentally or on purpose been gossiping about your stuff. But at the end of the day, you shared the secret. The secret was created by you, so don't necessarily get too freaked out about it. You know, maybe this had to come out for a reason. However, if there's a secret you don't want coming out, don't tell anyone this week. Keep it to yourself. Everything's going retrograde. Mercury is retrograde in the house of secrets and mystery. On the other hand, a mystery might be revealed or you might ferret out a secret from someone else that proves very useful to you. It may be that something that was concealed in the past is revealed and you're like, ah, that makes sense now. And you're, you're learning about all of this so that you can grow, evolve, transform and truly come into your power. At the time, of course, it might be difficult. Suddenly, when we see something that we don't know about, it's like, well, what's going on? Because it, it kind of reframes how we saw the past. Now, Uranus is going retrograde. It may be that you travel somewhere you've been before or you're thinking of restudying something or something pops up from the past that's quite different and unusual and, and it reminds you of your sense of adventure. Venus is shifting signs and making you want to feast on life. You're feeling very sexy. You're feeling very uh, intense. You also uh, want abundance around you and you want to sort of be secure. All of this will come. And with um, the sun conjunct Mercury, you have a sort of magical gift to sniff out opportunities. Also, Venus is trying Mars on the 8th. And that is enabling you to work out how to make money and where to put your energy work-wise. But again, we're all going backwards to go forwards. So think to the past uh, when it comes to making money and when it comes to when you, you were your most balanced and energy-wise. We have Mars going retrograde and in your position of health and well-being. So that's saying to you, again when were you at your healthiest are you implementing those things in your life now if not how can you of course the new moon as i said is in your position of secrets and psychic stuff and it's conjunct mercury retrograde hence something from the past is coming up to help you and to catapult you into your future but right now it might not be clear exactly what that means or where you're going with that it's square jupiter as well and Jupiter makes us all sort of overconfident if it's squared and quite bolshy. And for you, you might be very forceful about your ideas or a little bit argumentative with what comes up when really the universe is saying to you, sit with it, don't react, process it and see what happens. And then when you've done that, you'll feel much better. I mean, it's always a tough time for you when Mercury goes retrograde because it's your ruler. But because so many things are going retrograde, I truly believe that we're all going on a journey um, to, to find out and to give us another opportunity to make different decisions and to change our patterns, which will give us a brighter, better, bolder future. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.
Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.